an environmental engineer living in Australia, is called out to investigate strange bald circles of land amidst the vegetation in the Pilbara. When looking further into this puzzling anomaly, he discovers reports of similar circles have been made throughout the last century by numerous people. Not in Australia, but hailing from Namibia. The first reports of the so-called fairy circles of Namibia date back to the 1920s and describe a phenomenon of circular patches of barren lands, usually between 2 and 15 meters in diameter amidst the usual grass one would expect. These circles still appear in modern day and until 2014 were only thought to occur in the arid landscapes of Namibia, more particularly around this stretch of land which is known for its very harsh conditions. Because these natural anomalies have been tracked fairly steadily throughout the last century, it has been concluded that they have a lifespan of 30 to 60 years, continuously growing throughout. After this period, these dry spots of land appear to be overtaken by grasses present nearby. Whatever has been holding the growth of any vegetation at bay is essentially dissipated by then. Suspect number one for a long time was not aliens as one might think, but something very reminiscent of one. The sand termite Samothermes alloceris sylvestri is a desert dweller and is very comfortable in dry conditions. They have the amazing potential in thriving in areas where no vegetation whatsoever is present. Scientists speculate that its main means of sustenance is tiny bits of organic matter carried to their doorstep by the wind. These little critters could have potentially created a sort of ideal place for them to nest by removing all plant matter directly above it. However, in a paper by Walter Chinkel, published in 2012 about the fairy circles, the effect of the termites was proven not to be sufficient to create something like the circles. Sometimes there seems to even be a complete absence of the termite from the affected area, making this theory dubious at best. Although recently, a researcher suggested that another species of termite that makes its home deeper under the surface might still be a possibility. One strange fact about the circles was discovered early on after its discovery. The center of the affected area was unusually rich in plant nutrients, which raises more questions as to how many different types there might be. This led to a theory made in 2013 where two scientists by the name of Michael Kramer and Nicole Barger suggested that the circles might be the consequence of competition between different grasses. Because of their research, it was found that the fairy circles arose mostly in conditions that had low precipitation and nutrients in the soil. They outlined that because of this, the different types of vegetation in the area had to compete severely for resources. Patches are created as a sort of barrier or reservoir of nutrients for the grass outside of it, to live off in a time when nutrients would be scarce. As appealing as that theory may sound, there are of course people who also lend credence to popular myths concerning the fairy circles. One such story comes from the Himba people of the region, who say the patches are caused by the gods, or spirits, or other natural divinities. Some of them also refer to these strange circles as the footprints of the gods. Perhaps a more practical use of the fairy circles is the fact that the Imba people also on occasion use them for young cattle, building a fence around the outer perimeter as it contains rich grass in otherwise barren land. The fact remains that these fairy circles are one of Namibia's most puzzling features and to this day remain simply a mystery. Feel free to leave your favorite theory about the Namibian fairy circles in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate a like and for you to consider subscribing to our channel. It would honestly help us out a lot.